Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirm Arm YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Getting ourselves back into our two minute technicals video looking at XRP. And what we're going to do today is a little bit different. We're just going to start off with a complete clean slate chart, see what's been going on, and go from there. What we can do here is go from our most recent high to our most recent low. Do something like that. You can see where we're sitting here in this retracement. You see getting rejected by the 20 day and 50 day moving averages here. It looks like we're going to get that nice pushback there to around that 50 cents. Uh, you know, this is where our zone is right now it looks like right around here this is where we've had our can you know our uh back and forth play i guess as you could say but what we can do here as well is use our previous high over here before our fall and we can see exactly where we stand as well so you can see f fell down here try getting ourselves back up above that 702 could not lost the support came back here on the 0.5 and now kind of meandering sideways it looks like we could have a move uh yielding down uh we could actually use uh our sideways supports here right here you can use the base of the candle go across these you can see right there that doesn't make the most amount of sense to me uh use the top side here go across like this you can see we have a nice little resistance here on the top um it looks like it's coming to some sort of um move it looks like by tuesday late in the day six uh, to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Looks like you, if you can use this target here, your first move is going to be yielded uh, down here to that 49.3. Uh, we're going to get a nice push back up here. It looks like it would break through both moving averages and make its way headway towards the 55 again. Uh, but then for our longest move would be, I would say, right here. I wouldn't go uh, crazy and use uh, the, the actual mouth of here. That would be way too much, I think, at, at, at once here. But getting a retest up there for a full move up there to around 56 seven or coming down so our Fibonacci is coming in for a play here so what we're going to see towards the end of the day tomorrow is getting closer to the apex here coming closer and closer and closer and then once we start to lose that support at 56 one and then we can kind of write off for that 49 three but if we start to steadily rise upwards hold that support and actually break through up here you see a break through that uh, 20 and 50 day moving averages, we can expect to get that push up there to that uh, 200 day. So that'll be nice to see if it was able to do that, but don't obviously expect miracles out of stuff like that, but it looks like we're in some sort of falling wedge at the moment. That's what I'm thinking. Um, usually those uh, end in a full scale retracement, which would usually be this, uh, which you can see would just be back there around that 41. Uh, but at the moment, I, I, I'm not going to write that as the purposeful move. What I'm going to be doing is just watching and maintaining this 51. But as you can see, I'm going to be watching first that to that 49.3 and then to that 46. If it were to start, you know, you can play these. You just have to watch those supports. And if you want to go off of the local high to here, the local low here, you can see right now you, you, you flip to that 50 cent position once you fall through that 51.6. So we're, that, that, for both short term and sort of longer term the 51 six is kind of important so let's see how it goes guys hope you guys are having a wonderful morning afternoon evening wherever you are appreciate every single one of you remember when in doubt zoom out as you can see come here in the four hour just zooming in here for some sort of retracement as such it's coming very very close it's condensing hold those targets in your mind obviously um if we're able to hold here on the RSI, we get a nice push back upwards. It looks like our MACD has shown some nice retracement here um, in terms of that volume. Uh, and it's kind of dwindling itself out. Uh, and as you can see, they kind of work their way uh, as like that apex. Let me see. So if we were to do something sort of like that and get that, kind of, that, that sort of move, you know, the, it, it would start to level itself out now. I even think over here that works about the same. Yeah, just about. They all kind of do their peak like that. So I'm intrigued to see how it plays out. But I'm just, like I said, holding on that 51.6. If we start to lose that and head towards that um, that 49, you know, where we're looking like. So, like I said, I hope you guys are having a good one. Remember, none of us financial advice from personal opinion. And, oh, actually, we're sitting here. Hey, one more thing. Just sitting here below this. Uh, 20 day moving average here. We have actually been stuck below it since uh, last Thursday. Wow, it's the 10th. Wow, it's been 11 days stuck behind this 20 day moving average. If we can actually get a nice explosion through here, I would expect up here to that 57, um, the 55, retesting that 50 day moving average. That's they see that would make the most sense to me, right? But, anyways, <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Have a good one and be smart, think, and execute.